Hi guys, welcome to the channel, and today is Remoisturize My Mini Twist. Okay, my mini twists have been in probably for about a week, week and a half. I don't know why I ever stopped putting mini twists in. My hair loves them. I retain more moisture when I keep my hair in mini twists, and I can still style it when I want to, be it in buns, uh, roll, tuck, and pins, and then I can let it loose after a couple of weeks and have a beautiful twist out. So, today, my hair is just in a simple ponytail with a little little strands loose in the front here. I just got home from the gym. Two and a half miles of running. I'm getting my game back on since my surgery's getting my strength back up. Now I've got to get the body back. All right, so let's get started, guys. I am moisturizing my hair today with uh, my new loves, plus some other things. We have the Camille Rose Natural, the Coconut Water, the Curl Love by Camille Roses also, Show the coconut water again. And I love these two because they impart maximum moisture for my hair and my hair retains moisture when using these and neither one of them have glycerin. So I can use this year round. Once the stash is up, this very well may be the top contenders for my detanglers and moisturizers just because of the no glycerin. I don't have to think about wintertime switch, summertime switch. We just go with that. Now, I have taken those two leave-ins. One of them is just a moisturizer. The other one is classified as a leave-in. I have taken both of those and mixed them in this little container so I don't have to squirt one, then squirt the other. And then to seal them up, I'm going to be using my Ayurvedic butter. You would think because it has Ayurvedic oils infused into it that it would make my hair hard, but no. That mixture with the butter on top of it is giving my hair a beautiful balance of moisture and strength to my hair. My breakage is down, so that's wonderful. Okay, and in here, this is just, I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see that fine mist. This is a spray bottle. I've seen a couple of YouTubers use it. I found it on Amazon. I think I got two of them for like $12. I love them. I'm going to get more just to spray my clothes when I'm ironing and everything. So all I'm doing is... I'm not worried about frizz. I've been just doing it in my hand and then applying it or scrunching it into my hair. But today I'm actually going to spritz my ends with it because I have not done a major moisturizing since I put these twists in. So I'm just gonna do that for the end so they get the most of the moisture. And this thing, you can do a long blast if you squeeze the full trigger down or you can get short blasts if you just squeeze the trigger lightly. I love it. It gives you an uber fine mist. I have not tried mixing conditioner and waters and oils in this thing yet to see how it's going to go, but I will at a later date. Okay, let me gather them up in the back. And my scalp. And before I go to bed, I will do this again, but when I get ready to go to bed, I tend to divide my hair to expose my purring, and I get real close with this and spray my roots, massage my scalp after I apply my uh, Curly Proverbs Amped Up Growth Oil with the fenugreek and the henna and everything in it. You've seen that all before. That is what I do at night. And then I do my scalp massages either with the tips of my fingers or with my little uh, battery operated massagers. Okay. Now I'll put a little bit in my hands, rub it together, and I'm going to squeeze it into the length of my twist. We don't want the twist soaking wet because they will shrink which I don't mind when they shrink up, just not yet. And I did do a henna treatment last week before I put these in because you notice you don't see any grays. Look at that. And that is the Color Lab henna, the mahogany. That's my favorite. And right now, if you're looking for henna, they have a sale going on when you get five packs of anything on their website, the henna, the cassia, the nourish and repair packs, all of that. You get five of them for $29.95. $29 With shipping and handling, it's about 34 bucks. So I already scooped that up. I'll put a link down below, guys. Okay, and that's it for the water portion. Oh, my edges. 
my edges get a direct. Now I have noticed with this sprayer, even if you put the water in here warm, when it sprays out, it's cool. But it's been okay. Okay. Then I'll take some of the moisturizer. Don't need very much because I'm going to mainly concentrate that on my ends. And on my next wash day, guys, I'm going to share with you another leave-in that is phenomenal. Some of you might already know what it is, or you might even use it yourselves. But I'm not going to give up my spoiler in this video. You'll see it in the next one next week when I take these down. Squeezing it into the length of my hair. And I did do uh, a trim last week also after my henna treatment. I cut off probably a clean half inch to an inch off of my hair. But I still have enough length of my ponytail, so I don't care. And my ends are looking good. There's no single strand knots on my ends. And I don't worry too much about my hair being overly even because I don't wear my hair straightened. Except maybe once or twice a year. And if I can find a stylist that I trust with a scissor, I might go in and have a full thing done. Okay, that's all I use for the moisturizer. Okay, and then I do my butter. This is the Ayurvedic butter again. And what I do with this is I concentrate it heavily on my ends. Heavily on my ends. It's dripping out of my hands. Luckily, I got some. Oh, got it on my shirt, guys. This is a new shirt. <laughs> mainly on my ends I saturate my ends with it to make it really heavy with this butter see they're going to make me go back and buy some more of these t-shirts these are uh, Everest t-shirts 100% cotton my local Sears hasn't said it yet but they're going out of business because these t-shirts by Everest regular like $15, $16 a t-shirt because they're 100% cotton, no shrink, all that good stuff. And they're $5 for every, co every color that they have. So, I'm going to have to go get me another black one. Because it's just got a nice big plop of oil on it. So, we know that's going to stain. Okay, I'm going to turn around in the back so you can see the back. So, we can go ahead and close this video up. Because it's going to be around 9 minutes. Okay. And then when I get ready to go to bed, all I do to stretch my twists back out is I pull them back, put my hair into a bun, and put one of my hobo wraps or either one of my long scarves around it. And if I want to leave the twists loose because it's getting warmer, I crisscross them, pin them down, then tie them up. Crisscross to keep them stretched. And that is it, guys. So that is how I have been moisturizing my mini twists every two days. I have noticed that my moisture with this mixture is holding for three to four days on average. But that's with my hair in a protective style. My ends have not been loose. When my ends are loose, two days. So I subtract one day. So if it's four days worth of moisture holding, on the third day, I re-moisturize my hair. That is just a tip to give you guys, for you guys to try. And thus far, my hair is retaining moisture. Beautiful. My shedding is getting lower with the different treatments that I'm using. And it's summertime, so we finna have some fun. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, thumbs up. And let me know what you have been using in your hair to hold your moisture in and keep your strength. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.